that was some rough stuff. Well, let's do something that we can solve, okay? We can definitely solve rational functions as mathematicians in this class. Well, we know all about when we solve an equation like x plus 3 equals 5. What does x equal? Well, we must minus 3, minus 3, and all of a sudden x equals 2. That's when we're solving for x. But we're dealing with rational functions now. All right, let's see how we can do that with a rational function. For example, we can use cross multiplication. Let's say we have 3 divided by x plus 1 equals 9 divided by 4x plus 5. Well, we can easily use multiplication if I take these two, and that ends up being 9 times x plus 1. It's going to equal these two, 3 to 3 times 4x plus 5. If I multiply it in, I get 9x plus 9 equals 12x plus 15. Now I want to solve for this. So I'm going to continue on, and I can say subtract 9x from both sides, and I get 9 equals 3x plus 15 subtract 15 from both sides, I get choo -choo -choo, six, negative 6 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals negative 2. You can go back and check it, plug it in the x, and you should find out that it definitely works. Let's try another one. Um, before I do it, why don't you guys give it a try back at home. We got 3 divided by 5x equals 2 divided by x minus 7. Why don't you give it a pause and give that a try. Alright, you're all going to do it. Now I'm going to cross multiply again. So I'm going to take, say, 2 times 5x equals 3 times x minus 7. I'm just going to multiply right in and say 10x is going to equal 3x minus 21. And I can subtract 3 x from both sides, subtract 3x, I get 7x equals negative 21, that's a 1, weird 1, whatever, x is going to equal negative 3. Plug it back in and check your work. Alright, now here's the other way that we can solve rational functions. We can multiply everything by the LCD. For example, let's say I have 5 divided by x plus 7 divided by 4 equals negative 9 divided by x. Well, the LCD ends up being, because we take all the denominators and we find out what the common LCD is, it's going to be 4x. So watch this. If I take, if I multiply everything by the LCD, magic happens. Check this out. If I take my 5x, leave a little space, 7 divided by 4, leave a little space, equals negative 9 divided by x. Now let's multiply everything by 4x, but notice how I turn it into a fraction, because it's the same thing anyways. So we know what we're dividing into, and multiplying into as well. So let's multiply this by 4x. Divided by 1 is kind of important, so you can see that these are multiplied and these are multiplied. Multiply this by 4x. Now we can do that. Algebra says that if we multiply everything by the same thing, it's still equal. Now let's do it all out. I'll end up getting, crossing out this x, this x, I'll cross out this 4 and this 4, and I'll cross out this x and this x. All right. We end up getting 5 times 4, which is 20, plus 7 times x equals negative 9 times 4 which is negative 36. Okay? If you don't see where I got that, you're going to have to go back and notice that we canceled out this x, this x, this 1 wasn't even there. We canceled out this 4 and this 4, canceled out this x and this x, this 1 goes away, and then we just ended up getting 5 times 4 is 20, 7 times x was 7x, and negative 9 times 4 was 36. Now it's a simple algebra problem. If I try and solve this, I'm going to multiply minus 20 from both sides. Minus 20, minus 20, we get up getting 7x equals negative 
56. We all know that 7 times 8 is 56, but why not just divide by 7? x equals negative 8. If you plug 8 back into the original equation, you'll see that it works, and it's always good to check it. So why don't you go ahead and check that? Okay, let's try this third one, okay? But you will try it before I do it. Here, let's take this one. We got 1, we got 1 minus 8 divided by x minus 5, which equals 3 divided by x. Now, let's go ahead and find that LCD. Okay, that's the first thing we want to do. If you want to pause it and give this a try, you should do that. Okay, the LCD is end up getting, if we take the x minus 5 and the x, we find out the LCD is x minus 5 and times x. Okay, so let's try and set this guy up properly. If I'm going to say 1, I'm going to say 1 over 1 just to make life easier. And then I'm going to put this 8, I'm going to put this minus sign far away from this, x minus 5, which then equals... 3 divided by x. Now I'm going to take my LCD and I'm going to put it in red and I'm going to say the LCD is x minus 5 times x divided by 1. And we're going to multiply it by this one too, x minus 5 times x divided by 1. And this one is going to be x minus 5 times x divided by 1. I divided by 1 so I can make sure I can see what I'm multiplying into. Okay, and then we take the next step, and we're going to realize that this turns into x minus 5 times x. Um, the ones just leave it. Um, this x minus 5 and this x minus 5 cancel out. I end up getting minus 8x, which then equals this x and this x cancel out. And I end up getting 3 times x minus 5. And magically the denominators are gone, and it becomes an easy problem to solve. So let's take this one and we have x squared minus 5x minus 8x which equals 3x minus 15. Let's combine everything together. This 3x, this 3x and ends up being x squared minus 16x plus 15 which equals 0. Now we know how to factor, right? And we know that that ends up being x minus 1 times x minus 15. Oh, how do I make this equal 0? Well, x ends up equaling 1 or 15. You could go back and throw it in here, and you could double check and find out that you would be correct. Okay, let's do one more before we keep on going. Okay, why don't you guys try this one before I do it. Uh, let's take this one. All right, so we got 6 divided by x minus 3 equals 8x squared divided by x squared minus 9 minus 4x divided by x plus 3. The first thing I want to do is find the LCD. Okay, because I want to get rid of these denominators. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to first factor everything in the denominator just like we did before. So if I factor everything, I end up getting 6 divided by x minus 3, which equals 8x squared divided by x plus 3 times x minus 3 minus 4x, and this is already factored down here. Okay, so the LCD ends up being x plus 3 times x minus 3. Simply as that. So I'm going to multiply everything by x plus 3 times x minus 3. Um, let's spread it out so that I can see it. Let's take 6 divided by x minus 3 and spread this out to equal over here and spread this out over here. 8x squared all over x plus 3, x minus 3, and that's going to be minus. Let's throw this all the way over here. 4x divided by x plus 3. I just made these spaces so that I could then throw in my LCD. 
multiply it all by x plus 3 times x minus 3. I'm going to divide it by 1 because I can do that. And I'm going to say here is x plus 3, x minus 3, all over 1. And here I will say x plus 3, x minus 3, all over 1. Let's slash things out. All right, I can slash this, slash here. We can slash here. And what do we have left? We end up having 6 times x plus 3 equaling 8x squared minus 4x times x minus 3. Okay, now we need to combine everything. We end up getting 6x plus 3 equals 8x squared minus 4x squared plus 12x. Okay, let's continue combining. Switch colors here. If I combine it all, I end up getting, if I move all the way this all over here, I end up getting this is 0 equals oh, this 6x and 12x and combine these to negative to just 4x. So I end up getting 4x squared plus 6x minus 18. Ooh, that is wrong because this must be an 18 there because we did 6 times 3. I hope you caught that. Now we need to factor this. It's ended up factoring to 2x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now if you don't know how to factor this, you need to go back and figure out how to factor this. Come see me. We can just do a bunch of factoring problems. No problem. Or review chapter 4. This is from chapter 4. Okay, and we end up finding out that x is going to equal, equal either equal 3 halves or negative 3. All right, now we're going to run into a problem, this problem in red. If I plug in this negative 3 back into my original equation, we might find a problem because if I actually do plug that in, it ends up being 6 divided by negative 3, negative 3 minus 3, which does not equal 8 times negative 3 squared divided by negative 3 squared minus 9 minus 4 times negative 3 divided by negative 3 plus 3. Why? Because this and this end up equaling 0. And we can't have a 0 in the denominator. So we only have one solution, even though it comes out with 2.